Hi guys, today we're going to talk about how to create pink and peach colours with watercolour. So we're going to get straight into it. I am pulling out a couple of colours from my larger uh, palette box. So I'm pulling out Pyrrol Red from Rivervale and I think Quinn Pink also from Rivervale so, or Quinn Rose. So these are the colours that are in most palettes. If you buy like a 12 set and that you have basically the Quinn Rose is more of cool red, more of the cool red and the uh, Pyrrol Red is more of the warm red. I believe that's right you can uh, correct me if I'm wrong but uh, so basically they give you a sort of a raspberry colored pink which is uh, one of the reds and then you have an actual red and that enables you to mix quite a lot of different colors so what we're going to do today is start with those so if you have a palette that's only got those two in it you can make a really beautiful soft pink so we're going to look at that Okay, so let's just dive straight into this. So I'm going to swatch the Pyro Red uh, in full strength and then I'm going to dilute it with water. So you'll see uh, basically the way to get the lightest color out of it and to get a really pretty soft color is to mix it with a lot of water and water it right down and then you'll get a really beautiful soft color. Okay, so now we're going to swatch a few different ways to make peach and a few different other colors that I use for pink. So right here we have the Daniel Smith Road Knight. Uh, this is the sort of Quinn pink version that I have in, or Quinn Rose, that I have in my regular palette. And when I first started, a lot, I had about I don't know six different pinks and I you know I was looking for light pinks basically and what you can see on the right there where I've swatched that uh, line of different pinks in my palette or the ones that I really like you know that's what I was looking for in the beginning and basically I had that many colors just different variations of this Quinn Rose so um, I it, you know it took me a while to figure out you know how and where to find all the pinks so I thought this would be probably useful so what I'm doing now is I've got the French ochre Daniel Smith French ochre it's the one that I like it's a really light one and when you mix that with pinks you get a really nice soft peachy color and it's uh, quite a natural color so you can use that in skin tones as well and you can add a little bit more French ochre and it'll go more peachy or you can add a bit more um, of the like road knight or the quin rose and you it will go a bit more uh, pink so let me see here so I'm sorry guys I've been trying all morning it's just been a busy and loud morning so we've got the washing machine going the cats meowing uh, but now we're doing opera rose okay so this is one of my favorite colors the it's the hot pink it is a fugitive color so it's not light fast so it might disappear in 20 or 30 or 50 years um, if you put it in a window you know with sunlight on it so it's a color that I still love and want to use but you might you know need to know that because you might not want to use it for that um, so what I'm doing here is again I mixed it with the French ochre and you get this gorgeous corally color um, and the thing that I realized actually when I was just editing through this is that I didn't uh, use yellow enough so I could have used the lemon yellow and also created some really pretty 
peaches from all these pinks as well with the lemon yellow so I encourage you to just use the paints that you have and try mixing different things try the reds and the yellows try orange and yellow try watering the mixtures down a lot try the pinks and the browns the pinks and the yellows pinks and reds so you can probably follow along as well with the colors in my palette i have swatched the palette but i think right now i am swatching the opera rose and the jean brilliant uh, which also makes a really gorgeous color I, uh, I struggle a little bit to see what I'm doing because I've got the recording box over the screen, sort of half over the screen, so, um, but hopefully you can kind of follow along that. Okay, so now we are swatching one of my favorite colors and this is shell pink. So this is the Holbein shell pink. Um, this is one of the first colors that I bought and then this is Holbein brilliant pink. So we had a local art shop uh, that's closed down now that uh, held these colors and I, I looked at these colors for, I don't know, maybe six months before I actually bought some. So. But they're still two of my tried and true favorites, you know, three or four or five years later, maybe even. So they are colors mixed with white. So you get a, a sort of stronger consistency and a thicker consistency. Uh, they are more opaque, but uh, if you want that, you know, not the thinness and the transparency, that's a really good way to get it. And I really like having them and I think and so you'll see as well they, they completely change texturally change what you're doing so sometimes you might want something more transparent sometimes you might want something with a bit more body and then now I think I'm using the Sedona and Opera Rose or Sedona and Rodenite and just showing you that you can get some really pretty uh, colors from that as well it's basically like mixing a, a burnt sienna with any of your pinks or reds one we're gonna do is another one of my favorites and this is Azalea from Nibs Pens and Ink so she moved her store to New Monday so I'll try and link that below but uh, that is one of my favorites it's actually just a fluorescent neon pink so the Opera Rose is the fluorescent pigment with magenta and you can see it tones that down a bit but the uh, Azalea is just the full fluorescent pink and I absolutely love mixing this into sort of corals and really pretty sparkly uh, peaches. So I love mixing it with the Jean Brilliant number no. 2 by Holbein and I love mixing it with the Phantom Fire from Rivervale and if you have seen some of my other videos you'll know that but um, again I thought it was important if this is uh, a video that you're new to so the next thing we're doing is the pyrrole orange and again i'm showing you at full strength then we're going to water it down and you get a beautiful peach color okay so i'll just show you these up close so you can kind of see the difference between for example the transparent ones the ones that are mixed with white so you get like a thicker sort of a color on there and then i have a couple of other ideas so so i will be back momentarily
Okay, so what we have here are two Stabilo 3-in-1 pencils, I think they're called, from... I got these from Jet Pens, and this is a Neo Color 2. So, I think this is Salmon or Salmon Pink. And, um, the... So, basically what you can use these for is watercolor pigment. So, I'm not laying them down here as a color. I'm laying them down as a palette that I'm going to pull color from. And I did talk about this and kind of show you this in my last video, I think it is, about um, making a travel palette, the Happy World Watercolor Month one. So, and you can see here that I can just pick that straight up. So, I in that video, I, I made a palette and I can just pick the uh, pigment straight up off the palette and paint with it. And you get these gorgeous soft colors. So you can see here that I am trying it on my palette. So if I draw on my palette, can I pick the color up off there? And again, I just encourage you to experiment with your art supplies. So I do this and I realize it doesn't, it's not quite strong enough. It doesn't really work. So I just start brushing the color straight off the pencil and you can see that it, it does uh, perform really nicely that way. Okay, so the last thing we're going to talk about is Potter's Pink by Winsor & Newton. And I actually got this colour recommendation off Liz Steele. She, she loves it. She uses it in all her mixes. So it's a really beautiful colour and it's easy to re-wet. So I am just using it with pearl white here. One of my favourite ways to use it is to mix it with pearl white. So I saved one of my favorites for last and this is Shell Pink and Pearl White. I absolutely love this mix and you have probably seen me use this or seen this in my palette a few times over the last several years. But that is it for me today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions let me know and I will see you soon. Bye!